how is Trump racist? Hmm. Do you want to answer this for me? Nope, this is for you. You made the claim. Back it up. No. <laughs> how is he a racist? I'm not going to answer you. Why? Because you can't or because you won't? No, because I'm pissed at you and you should leave our campus. When we look at the Black Lives Matter discussion, and we look at who's up for the presidency, Joe Biden or Donald Trump, who would be better to run black America? Hmm, I'd rather choose um, a Biden over a racist pedophile. Okay. How is he racist? You f***ing kidding. Trump <laughs> How yeah, is Trump racist? I'll get to you. How is Trump racist? Hmm. Do you want to answer this for me? Nope, this is for you. You made the claim. Back it up. No. <laughs> well, you said we're. I'm an idiot. He has had multiple people be killed because he of has, brutality. He has had people be killed. Ma'am, I live in a town where there was riots. Very good. I'm glad that that's where you come from. However, who has he had killed? He has caused his police to do it. He has militiaized this country. He has militiaized this country. I can't speak English because I suck at it, but ma'am. He Don't has assume my gender. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't do that. Pronouns, don't assume your gender. What are your pronouns then? Zay and Z and Princess. Princess? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Damn. Yes. How is he a racist? I'm not going to answer you. Why? Because you can't or because you won't? No, because I'm pissed at you and you should leave our campus. Oh, no. This is a free country, right? Whose streets? My streets. Today. Yes, yeah, so this is a private campus. No, it's not. It is a public university. I just want to know how Donald Trump is racist. Because he has had his, his militia our military be used to protect buildings against people who have been killed multiple times. He needs to protect the buildings. Why? Why would he need to protect the buildings? For no reason because people... For who, no reason or because they're lighting them on fire not, and they're killing police officers. Not people who are killing police officers. It's people like you who are causing them to light the buildings on fire. I, people has, like me who support has, the police who is against black lives matter proven. terrorist organization i'm the one that's causing them to tear down the buildings and light them on fire yeah, but it has proven that people who are against the black lives matter movement will go and purposely force the riots and blame it on people who are can you give me proof for that there are many articles that you can look up for yourself. give me one what was it well it was in like times or something it was something that's a 90 who did it who did it it was times i think 93% yeah. of what? 93% of people who are against the Black Lives Movement are would go to the riots. I'm sorry. Stop. I'm talking to her. I will gladly come to you next. 93%. She has to talk. Yeah, but it's my body, my choice not to talk to you. So 93%, 93%. Just finish your point. That's it. 93%. So are you saying it's good for 7% of the riots and the pro the protesters to be violent? You think that's a good statistic? The 7% is peaceful you think we're supposed to wave that around as it's good people because they only show the people that are causing the riots to be violent they aren't showing the peaceful riots and she the peaceful riots them. how is a riot peaceful there are peaceful protests going around this country every day they chose not to show them they, they do show the majority them majority of cops are nice so we should not abolish the cop uh, abolish police because the majority of cops are nice right so we shouldn't stop protests because the majority of them are peaceful i'm not saying to stop protests i'm saying to stop the riots no, but the people protesting aren't the ones doing the riots. Then, then what's, where's the difference? So I'm glad the people who are peacefully protesting, sure, if they don't want to be caught up in the riots, then leave. But when the riots specifically shout Black Lives Matter, they shout the names of drug addicts and felons and pedophiles and people who have attempted to murder people. I don't think it's a peaceful movement. I don't. When you actively assault police officers in your protests and your riots, and we can stop pretending like they're peaceful at this point. It's been over a hundred days and this has happened. You're going to go up to a, a business owner or an apartment complex owner, someone who had their lives burned down in the cities, someone who has had their business burnt to the, burnt to the ground, and you're going to say, listen, okay, yeah, this is bad. You might be poor now. You don't have anything left to show your life's work, but only 7% are violent. So most of us are good. It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter apply anymore. Over a hundred days. Cops. Apply that same logic to cops. It doesn't matter anymore. So There's we need to get rid of the cops. Yeah. I'm trying to apply your logic. You just said no, get rid of the protests because. No, I said get rid of the riots, but we can stop pretending okay, so as the if they're all peaceful. Get rid of all the bad cops. Then. Absolutely, we can get on the same point. Let's get rid of the bad cops. What's wrong with that? Absolutely, let's happening? do it. Why are you questioning the protests and not questioning the cops? You're questioning the protests more than you're questioning the cops. Because the cops are not out there burning our cities down. The cops they're not out people. there. What black are you talking people. about? I'm sorry. Are I said they're out there killing black people. You they're know? killing black people? Hold on. Okay, so you said 
Um, okay, so I've been to the Orlando protest here. Great. And uh, I stayed, and the only time they turned violent was when the police was using force against the peaceful protesters. So... Okay, so cops are killing black people? Yes, yes. How many black unarmed men were shot in 2019? Am I... Did like, do like I have Google, Google in my brain? No. I would absolutely, if you're going to say black people are being killed by right. a sp specific entity, you should give me the numbers. You can even guess. How many? Do you think it's in the thousands and the hundred thousands? Remember that you prepared for the speech that you're giving us. We haven't Googled Well, you guys have prepared to have your opinions. I don't know where you got them. Maybe you got them from the TV. How many unarmed black men were shot in 2019? I couldn't tell you because I don't keep that. No I just know. I see it. With if one you see example, it, yeah, how, see many, example, how many? How many? I see it with another example, and we even see it here. In the Florida mall, they just shot a 22-year-old, Salathus Melvin, in the back while he was running away. He was no threat. He was running away, and he was shot in the back. I haven't heard about that. I'd love to, I'd love to learn about that and actually look at the video, so thank you for bringing that to my attention. But I would like you to answer my question. If you think the police are out there murdering black people right. because innocent they're black racist, people. innocent black people, huh? Yeah. So you think Jacob Blake was innocent? Yes, what was he doing? He was reaching for a knife after yes. he was at his, uh, he raped a woman, he was at her house. Yes, she called the cops because okay. a rapist was at her house. <laughs> and then he was reaching for a knife that was found on the floor of his car and he got shot because he was reaching for a knife and he was okay. resisting the cops and fighting with them. Okay. How is that innocent to reach for a knife and rape a woman? Okay, no, raping a woman is totally wrong, obviously. And um, does not, do you really, okay, the cops, here have all the power in their hands when they have a gun in their hand. Why? When they see, there's multiple examples of like white men walking around with guns. If they're, they saying they're scared of black people reaching for a weapon, a knife, how do you compare that to a gun? And then how are you gonna kill that person with, with the knife, like multiple times when you don't even like pay attention to the white man holding a gun. This is why it's so important to know the statistics about who's being targeted by police brutality. Again, I would love to know the difference between white unarmed people, men specifically, shot by the police and black unarmed men shot by the police. It's a really important statistic that I think would open your guys' mind. Can you, do you want to give a shot at maybe the differences? I would have to do, I would have to look it up myself. I don't, I'm do sorry. Do you think it's in the thousands, black people being shot, black men being shot, totally innocent, unarmed? Um, I mean, when the media tells you, and we see all these videos coming out, would you say it's a high number or a low number? I would say it's a more uh, people that there needs to be dead. Like, why do you even, like, need to, like, have these instances, like, this shouldn't be happening, period. No, people should not be trying to shoot the police or trying to come at them or anything like that. But let me tell you, there were nine unarmed black men that were shot in 2019. And you laugh. Everybody I tell that statistic to, they laugh. I don't think nine unarmed people dying is funny. So I don't know why you're laughing. There were 19 white unarmed men that were shot by the police in 2019. Why then do you guys think that there is a big enough issue out there for us to go and burn our cities. I think, um, you know, people of color, specifically black people, are tired of being mistreated. By who? The police? The They're being mistreated by themselves. Their own, commun own community. You know who kills 94% of black people in this country? Black people. Okay. They're being terrorized by their own communities. Why? Okay, so... Uh, where do you find the most criminal, like the highest criminal rates? Black America. Because in poor communities, it doesn't matter if they're black, it doesn't matter if they're white. And poor community is going to find the highest criminal rates. Because also because like surrounding your environment, that's all you, you're going to see. Because, yeah, I agree with you there. Okay, so whose fault is that? The government's fault exactly. for placing these black people in these communities and handing them welfare. So they're out there. They, have you heard of the Great Society? Right. Have you heard of that, that, that bill and that... Right. right, okay. So that put more black Americans on welfare and took incentivized single motherhood. Took the fathers out of the home. That is detrimental to the black community and shame on our governments and people we are supposed to entrust in our communities to run our country for creating such a policy that would put 
people specifically for their skin color down on welfare that makes them impossible for it to come out but why is that responsible so that's that's the reason why there are, there's a lot of poor black communities why then do we give them an excuse to be violent to one another we're not giving them an we're putting in context it doesn't mean it's it's an excuse it sounds like an excuse to me, and I don't think it is. I don't think we are we can excuse violent behavior from a demographic that commits 50% of the violent crime in our country and write it off as that they're, they're in poor communities. I don't think that's fair. I think that we need to hold people responsible for the things that they do, including police officers. I can get right on board with you there, but I will not say that an innocent police officer should be thrown in jail just because he happened to have a victim that was black. Okay, so what do you think about the Brianna Taylor murder? So, a lot of people came out and tried to say that it, she was innocent. She was just a firefighter. She was not involved. It had nothing to do with her house. It was a no-knock raid. Guess what? All of that came out to not be true. They did knock. She was involved with the drug trafficking. Her address was on the warrant for them to go into. Really? Yes. And where are you getting all this information? This is coming out. You've never, you haven't seen this come out? Yeah, this is coming out from the police during their investigation, from people releasing body cam footage, from people coming out with written statements. Yes, this is all coming out. And it's important, it's very important to know the situations involving things. And now, I will get behind Rand Paul's initiative to end no-knock raids. No police officer should be in entering into a home without knocking, right? Because people have the right to defend themselves against someone coming into their home that they don't know of. But I don't think that was the situation involving Breonna Taylor. And I would encourage you, if there's anything you want to give me, any information that I can leave here today about Breonna Taylor that you would like me to look more into, I'd love it. But I hope you walk away as well, maybe look into what's coming out about that case and the misconceptions around it. Is there, if there's anything you would like me to know or walk away with, so this I'm open. Of, you're getting all of this from the police department? So it's from the police department yeah. and also... Initially, like, uh, like, gave the report and, like, lied on the report? Yeah, so I'm not saying we should trust police entirely, but when they come out with body cam footage... They, they did? Is it out? Well, I don't, I'm not, I don't think that it, it's, it really is to the public, but when they so went through and looked at the body did cam footage... It? No, I did not. But that's what they're going off of, and I want them to release it. Let's release it. You know, Let's do it. You know, that's what they said for the Salathus Sil Melvin murder here in Orlando. I don't know anything about that, but I would Well, like to they said yeah. that he was reaching for a gun when the body cam video, it was, that was absolutely not true. He was running away. Yeah, let's hold those cops responsible. Absolutely. If that's the case, if that's what a jury of peers decide for him in court, absolutely, that's what he deserves. Hold him responsible. I love that. Because an innocent life may have died. But also, we can't lock up people without proving that they're guilty. Do you see what I'm saying? Because that can be used against anybody. Anybody. We have to prove that people are guilty, be able to do that. So, I appreciate you talking to me. To watch that interaction in its entirety, uncut and uncensored, go to libertyhangout.tv. We have behind-the-scenes footage and a lot more coming out of this trip. Go to libertyhangout.tv right now to watch Caitlin Bennett uncensored. Not only will you get to watch exclusive content from me, but you'll get to say you stood for the truth, you stood against radical leftism, and you stood up for America. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and share, hit that subscribe button, and click the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos. If you want to support my work, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett and receive cool perks like an autographed photo from me in the mail each month. Or you can go to CaitlinBennett.org and get up to 75% off and free shipping on supplements and merchandise to support my work and start living a healthy life. My favorite product? It's Turbo Force because it gives me all the energy I need to make it through a long day of doing interviews. There are tons of other health supplements you can choose from to keep your body healthy during these uncertain times. And check out the website band.video to see uncensored content from conservative creators that have been erased from social media.